Hey YouTube, how's it going? Well, we're into April. The showers have begun. And by showers, I mean thunderstorms. Which, that part is cool. I love a good thunderstorm. And there's nothing quite so relaxing as to sleep to the sound of the crashing of thunder. I love that. It's so spring and relaxing. It's really some of the best relaxation I've had in a while and that's really big, really important. Because I tell you what, after this winter, oh man, this winter has been, to be blunt, hell. This has been one of the worst, longest winters I've had to deal with in a very long time. I don't know how long it was for you, but from my point of view, fall was about three years ago. And uh, I am so glad to see spring coming in, to see the weather warming up, to actually sit around without wearing my coat. And hey, here's a milestone two days ago. I went to sleep without bundling up in my heavy coat and 97,000 blankets all at the same time for the first time all frigging winter. You have no idea how much I hate wearing that coat to sleep. But I've been doing it for a long time and I'm so glad to not have to be doing that anymore. Because frankly, after this last winter, that's been two or three years long, I'm tired. I am just plain tired. Physically, emotionally, psychologically, spiritually, I am completely exhausted. And so, this is the reason that tomorrow, I am going to spend money on something I cannot afford. I'm going to spend money that I need on bills that are behind two months in order to get something that could easily be argued that I do not need. That I actually very seriously literally cannot afford. I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to get over to Pizza Hut and I am going to get myself a large hand toss meat lover with cheese with extra cheese on top the likes of which has not entered my house in five or six months or more. I don't honestly remember. It feels like six or seven years. And I am going to sit back and I'm going to enjoy the living daylights out of that. I don't care that I can't afford it. I don't care that it's going to cause me financial problems later on in the month. I do not care. I deserve it. You know, it's like that old advertising jingle. You deserve a break today, so get up and get away. Well, I can't get up and get away. Well, I can't, I can get up, but I can't get away. You know, I, I, that, that isn't going to happen. But I do deserve a break today, so I'm going to get myself something that I really, really think I deserve. And that's especially uh, a big thing since and, and this one is my own fault, I will admit this. It is completely my own fault through not buying the right things and then a couple of weeks ago going a little bit nutso because I was feeling really down and I ate my feelings. Uh, but basically what happened was is I ended up with, uh, well, a week ago my cupboards ran empty. And by empty, I mean I have an onion in the refrigerator, I have some spices here and there, but that's it. And that's how it's been for the last week. Well, no, I did get down to where a couple of days ago I dipped into the last little bit of my reserves of a stock of rice, and I paid for it. Because that stuff these days causes me incredible amounts of gas and intestinal agony and 
racing to the throne because I feel like I'm about to burst only to find out that it's 99% gas. Yeah, that's just so much fun. It makes you want to throw up at somebody's face. Anyway, yeah, I know. I'm being so frigging cheerful today. What can I say? It, 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 I, I have made it a point for a very long time to have a positive outlook and attitude in videos as much as I can possibly manage because there was a lot of times before that when I would get into a vlog video and I would be just so depressing and disgusted and whatnot that I didn't even want to watch my own video. Now why I uploaded them I can never begin to explain. but. It dawned on me, I figured out what the problem was, that that was a problem, and I, I made it a point, a quest, to always try to at least fake a positive attitude and outlook in a video as much as possible. But there are times when it's not that easy. There are times when you've been through too much for too long and you, and you just don't have it left in you to put on the positive attitude even just for a few minutes. But sometimes it's just too much and this winter has been six different kinds of too much and uh, it, it's really bad. I'm at least two months behind on my bills because I've been trying to go like crazy to catch up on my electric bill because I spent a lot of time this winter standing in front of my ovens with the ovens running full blast and that has cost me a nightmare in electric bills and I knew when I was doing it it was going to be a problem and it's going to be a miracle if I can get these things paid off at all you know I'm talking about raising money for other folks and they very 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 much need it but kind of have a little situation of my own, you know? And I know I'm starting to ramble and so on, but what can I tell you? I live alone. I have lived alone for years. And while I do prefer, honestly and sincerely, to live by myself, there are times when being by yourself, or more properly, let's rephrase that, it's the correct term, alone. By yourself is not the same thing as alone. Make sure you know that. There are times when being alone gets to be too much. And uh, you start thinking how nice it would be for there to be somebody that you could talk to and tell whatever problem there was to and knowing that they're not going to say a negative thing and they're not going to repeat it to anybody ever because that would be too much and I have rambled on and on and on and I need to finally shut up because I'm sure that at this point let's see what is it almost nine minutes into the video, I'm quite sure at this point that there is probably nobody still watching. If you are still watching at this point, thanks for watching, take it easy, I'm out of here.